Uh, what other mistakes or opportunities do you see as a trend oh, yeah. uh, with most real estate investors other than, uh, in addition to what you just said? One of the big ones that we see over and over again on the financial side is that most people avoid the finances and they avoid them not because they want to or because, you know, or because they're, you know, like they're negligent. What they're doing is we don't get the training bombarded at us like we do for marketing and like we do for operations and systems and like all this if the new marketing channel or this or that or the other thing we don't get that type of training for the financial side so there's not a simple system to say here here's how to track your money here's how to actually you know manage the money that you get in like okay Mr. Marketer, here's the, you know, how we get another channel in and we're just made another hundred thousand dollars this month. But then what do you do with that money? That's where most people just abdicate their responsibility to a, a CPA or to a bookkeeper or someone just say, you handle this and I'm just going to go do deals and you just do the transactions. But then all their all those people are doing are literally just putting numbers down on a report or into a software system. They don't care about your business from the aspect of like, how are you managing the money? Are you still going to be able to be in business next month? You know, they don't have that. So it's, I see it, the avoiding of the finances because people are embarrassed, ashamed. And I'm like, why are you embarrassed and ashamed? Like no one's taught you this simply. There hasn't been a simple system until now. So that's another big mistake that I see is like people avoiding the financial side, but it's really all about here's a simple system. Here's to give you that knowledge. Knowledge conquers fear. So if you have that knowledge and take action to actually manage it, then you won't be you won't be scared to actually confront the finances of where you are. David, you're a mighty passionate guy. What got you so excited about this topic? <laughs> When I read the book, I saw the possibilities of like, man, I've read so many books with this mindset, but not with the steps to make it a reality. And that's where I felt like this book gives you not only the mindset, but then the framework and the steps to say, I'm going to keep more money. But then I've seen it work. I've seen real estate investors that we're working with who now one guy who just does one flip, a, one flip every quarter. And has about a 20 unit portfolio, like not many doors. And he's gone from like being very much in the red and like behind and like just feeling like he's spinning his wheels to where he now has multiple six figure bottom lines. He took his family on an RV vacation this year from his profit bank account and didn't feel bad about it because that was his reward. He also this year, he saved enough in his tax account where he oversaved about $13,000. So he's like, I'm giving myself a refund this year for myself, like a $13,000 refund that I saved. And now I have this, he's built over a six figure reserve. This is on top of everything else. And where he's like, now I get to decide, do I want to scale or do I want to just stay where we are? That's just one story. I've got multiple stories like this. Another guy who saved the over 60000 just in his property tax bank account that we set up for him and have been coaching him and guiding him because it was a stressful time at the end of the year. He's got a bigger portfolio, so he's got a bigger tax bill at, for his properties. And at the end of the year, he's always stressing out, do I have the money? Well, this year, he was on the system, and at the end of this year, he's got enough money to cover all that without getting a loan, without having to do another deal. It's those types of things. It's taking that stress off of like, you are going to make money in real estate, but then what you when you make the money, what do you do with it? That's what gets me excited is like, you can get a bottom line, you can have a net worth, you can actually go out and do the fun stuff of why you started your real estate investing, because you not only know how to make it, now you have a step-by-step -step of how to keep it. Well, David, I'm... Thank you.